Ducas aspera. Various studies have shown that Ducas aspera has many medicinal properties and is used in many health conditions like cough, cold, rheumatism, etc. In Siddha practice, the samulam of this plant is crushed and boiled with water. The steam is then used for inhalation in conditions like nasal congestion, cough, cold, fever, headache, etc. Hibiscus In the Indian traditional system of medicine, Ayurveda, hibiscus is considered to have great medicinal properties. The roots are used to make various concoctions believed to cure ailments such as cough, hair loss or hair grain. As a hair treatment, the flowers are boiled in oil along with other spices to make medicated hair oil. The leaves and flowers are ground into a fine paste with a little water and the resulting lathery paste is used as a shampoo plus conditioner. Hibiscus leaf is used as natural conditioner and anti-dandruff agent. An extract of the hibiscus flowers is believed to lower cholesterol content in blood serum and helps to prevent oxidation of bad cholesterol. Daily uptake of hibiscus tea is said to be useful for reducing high blood pressure. Telespora cordifolia is a native plant from tropical and subtropical regions of India. The plant is a climber with heart-shaped leaves. The plant is classified as a Rasayana herb which is said to have the property to enhance longevity, promote intelligence and prevent disease. The herb has a long history in use by practitioners of Ayurvedic medicine since 2000 BC. Amritabali has been used to cure severe illness like arthritis, liver disease, eye diseases, urinary problems, anemia, cancer, diarrhea and diabetes. It also helps remove toxins from the body. According to Indian legend, the herb is known locally as Amritabali or Jilo or Heavenly Elixir. The plant tulsi or holy basil is a tropical plant which is worshipped by Hindus and is an important symbol of Hindu religion. It is a common sight to find Tulsi Vrindavan in the houses of Hindus. There are two types of Tulsi, Krishna Tulsi which has purple leaves and Sri Tulsi which has green leaves. Regarded as sacred in Hinduism, Asanam Santan has many traditional medicinal uses. A mixture of leaves and seeds with black pepper is given to the pregnant woman suffering from malaria. Fresh flowers are used to treat coughs and colds. The leaf or whole plant is used to alleviate nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. Aloe Vera Aloe Vera has been used as a healing agent for centuries. As far back as the days of ancient Egypt, Aloe Vera was prescribed as a plant of immortality. Aloe vera is used to heal a variety of skin conditions, to heal wounds and as a laxative when consumed internally. The researchers found sound evidence that aloe vera could be useful in the treatment of diabetes patients which helps lowering blood glucose levels. Aloe vera could also help to reduce blood lipid levels. Aloe vera plant is considered to be a miracle for health due to numerous benefits of aloe vera juice and its gel. Shatavari asparagus racimosus is a species of asparagus common throughout India, Sri Lanka and the Himalayas. It grows 1 to 2 meters tall and prefers to take root in gravelly, rocky soils high up in Piedmont plains at 1300 to 1400 meters elevation. Due to its multiple uses, the demand for shatavari is constantly on the rise. Due to destructive harvesting combined with habitat destruction and deforestation, the plant is now considered endangered in its natural habitat. Shatavari is recommended in Ayurvedic text for the prevention and treatment of gastric ulcers and dyspepsia.
Shatavari has also been used successfully by some Ayurvedic practitioners for nervous disorders. It is an important medicinal plant for tropical and subtropical India. Its medicinal usage has been reported in the Indian traditional systems of medicine such as Ayurveda, Yunani and Siddha. In Ayurveda, Shatavari has been described as a Rasayana herb and has been used extensively as an adaptogen to increase the non-specific resistance of organisms against a variety of stresses. The roots are used in Ayurvedic medicine following a regimen of processing and drying. It is generally used as a uterine tonic as agalactagog to improve breast milk in hyperacidity and as a general health tonic. Madhunashini Madhunashini, botanically known as Gymnema sylvester, is an herb native to the tropical forest of southern and central India. Chewing the leaves suppresses the sensation of sweet. This effect is attributed to the presence of the gymnemic acids. Madhunashini has been used in herbal medicine as a treatment for diabetes for centuries. This plant is also used for controlling obesity in the form of gymnema tea. It is a potent anti-diabetic plant and used in folk, ayurvedic and homeopathic systems of medicine. It is also used in the treatment of asthma, eye complaints, inflammations, family planning and snake bite. Mentha Arvensis Pudina is a herbaceous perennial herb that grows to a height of 10 to 16 centimeters. This downy herb has running root stalks and a rigid branching stem. The plant is highly effective in treating headaches, rhinitis, cough, sore throat and vomiting. It served as a good blood cleanser since it's antiseptic and antibacterial. The decoction and infusion of its leaves and stems helps in fever and stomach aches. It is used as a flavoring agent in many culinary preparations in India. Vitex negundo Vitex negundo, commonly known as a five-leaf chase tree, is a large aromatic shrub with quadrangular, densely whitish tomentose branchlets. It is widely used in folk medicine, particularly in South and Southeast Asia. Vitex negundo are commonly found near bodies of water, recently disturbed land, grasslands, and mixed open forests. Nirgundi has analgesic properties. A decoction of the leaves was found to prevent the development of swelling of joints. The useful in dispersing swellings of the joints from acute rheumatism. Srigandha Santalam album Sandalwood, locally called as Sri Gandha, has been utilized, cultivated and traded for many years as some cultures placing great significance on its fragrant and medicinal qualities. For these reasons, it has been extensively exploited to the point where the world population is vulnerable to extinction. IUCN red list status of the sandalwood is vulnerable. The use of sandalwood in India is noted in literature for over 2,000 years. It has been used as wood and oil in religious practices. It also features as a construction material in temples and elsewhere. Sandalwood is mostly used in preparation of essential oil, which is considered as a stimulant, antiseptic and antibacterial. The most significant benefit of sandalwood powder on skin is that regular application of this can give a glowing and flawless facial skin. Additionally, it also has certain medicinal properties that are useful to treat many health conditions and skin ailments. Shunti Ginger The rhizome of Zingiber officinale is one of the most widely used species of the ginger family and is a common condiment for various foods and beverages. Ginger has a long history 
of medicinal use dating back 2500 years in India and China for conditions such as headaches, nausea, rheumatism and colds. Characterized in traditional medicine as spicy and hot, ginger is claimed to warm the body and treat cold extremities, improve a weak and tardy pulse, address a pale complexion and strengthen the body after blood loss. Ginger tea is a beverage in many countries made from ginger root. Dalchini Cinnamon Cinnamomum cassia has a long history both as a spice and as a medicine. It is a brown bark of the cinnamon tree which is available in its dry tubular form. Cinnamon has long been considered a wonder food in various cultures and science has shown that its active oil components have health benefits. Cinnamon is a fantastic natural remedy for many ailments such as arthritis, balding and kidney stones. Although available throughout the year, the fragrant, sweet and warm taste of cinnamon is a perfect spice to use during the winter months. Cassia auriculata Cassia auriculata is an evergreen shrub that grows in dry regions of India and Sri Lanka. The flower, leaves, stem, root and raw fruit are used for treatment, especially in Ayurvedic medicine. The dried flowers and flower buds are used as a substitute for tea in case of diabetes patients. People use Cassia auriculata also for eye infections, joint and muscle pain, constipation, jaundice, liver disease and urinary tract disorders. The shrub is especially famous for its attractive yellow flowers which are used in the treatment of skin disorders and body odour.